Dr. William Sykoff was talking about subtype, genetic subtype, and uh, the response to either bevacizumab, uh, neoadjuvant yeah. therapy, or carboplatin. Uh, complex, a little bit complex, but there seemed to be a signal in some genetic subtypes influencing bev bevacizumab, but not carboplatin. What did you make of all that? Well, I think that the, uh, if I remember his data, uh, carboplatin was uh, beneficial in terms of pathological complete response in tumors that were basal-like and non-basal-like also, all of them being triple negative breast cancer, right? Uh, the effect of bevacizumab, again, I don't know what to make of that. Bevacizumab improved pathological complete response in basal, but reduced pathological complete response in the very small group of non-basal, which altogether was about 13% of the total. I don't know what to make of that. I mean, bevacizumab is not being used, so I am, uh, I don't know uh, whether that, uh, that doesn't, does any, does any do, that doesn't do anything to me in terms of use of bevacizumab. But it's one more body of data suggesting that some patients with triple negative breast cancer, in some patients we may consider the addition of carboplatin. And, and this might be ba based on genetic subtype. Well, uh, what his, uh, his data suggests that no, just based on clinical information. So if triple you're negative, using carboplatin, triple negative, yeah. that's not important. Yeah, triple negative. Well, based on that study, again, he saw the benefit on basal likes and non-basal likes. Mm -hmm. All triple negative, which is a clinical definition. Mm -hmm.